And worst of all, which mutants Yo guys, what is up this naked? We are back on Winter 3. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the fan, but it's like a million degrees in my room because I have it's like night out, so it's kind of. I got. I have a, two lights on my room, and I got my Xbox, my two laptops on. One that I'm recording with. I'll turn the fan off just in case. One that I'm recording with, and one where I'm. I have my. Uh, I have a little music and a, and a, a Let's Play of The Witcher Three going on there that I'm listening to while I actually play. Uh, so, am I supposed to do this at night? Can I do it right now? It's back here. I guess I'll loot this though. Let's see. I'm not seeing anything. I will live. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Gave the signal. I should show up in far corners before midnight. All right, let's go to far corners. Oh, really? I got caught on that? Okay. I'm kind of excited to finish this quest up because I kind of want to go and see what Triss's story is. Uh, that's the one that I want to end up in this game with, um, in this playthrough. In my longer one, I want to end up with Yennefer, even though Yennefer's been kind of a bitch. Triss has been nice. Kira was nice. Je Yennefer's been kind of a bitch, but I kind of want to end up with Yennefer. It's kind of a cooler character. But I did want to... I know the three endings. You either end up alone, you end up with Triss, or you end up with Yennefer. It's pretty much that simple. Wait. It told me to come out here, right? Where does it tell me to go? You know what? Screw it. We're just gonna... Do We're taking my own route. Got my allergy shot yesterday. Usually, usually my allergies kick in. You know, if you get allergy shots, uh, the allergies like kick in. You get like a bad allergy for one day. Usually, mine kick in like the next morning. They're actually like kicking in now. My nose is kind of running. So as I sneeze in this video, now just to hide and wait. Do I have to find my own hiding spot? Blind man would even spot me here. I think I just picked up something decent. Alright, need to loot. Need to hurry up and loot things. Why is the why is this at oh crap, he's is he outside? Okay, I'm just gonna hide over here. We're gonna meditate till midnight. See how this goes. The night just. Huh? I'm confused. Where does it want me to hide? Um, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm not sure what it wanted me to do. Behind the door. Best place to hide. Classic. Really? Behind the door? That's your hiding place, Geralt? Triss? How'd you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst, with Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner, lips almost pucker on their own. Shh, he's coming, hide. Yes, let's hide behind the door. Yeah, that's that's the champion hiding spot. This guy looks familiar. Who is this? Manga. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. The shotgun? That's no way to talk to a lady. 
To a lady, I'd never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Oh, shit. Had enough? F fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. <laughs> you must be thinking this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. <laughs> Enough! Enough! So, gonna talk? Uh, yes! Yes! Just tell me what the fuck about! We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menka captured him. That... That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel! You might have said so from the start. Before you bloody started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Why don't you just spit it out? Get to the point. He's in pain. The Dandelion is on Temple Isle. In the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menga's planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menga's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Your curiosity. Who do you work for? I won't say. No way. Sure about that? <laughs> Radovid. I work for Radovid. Where'd Manga hide Siki Ruven's treasure? <laughs> I'm the clue. You realize one word and you'll howl with pain. Yeah, and yeah, I still say I don't know a thing. Does that make you think? Think he's telling the truth? Ugh, looks like it. Radovid, what did he hope to gain by helping Menga? He seeks to clear the field before he arrives. Makes sense. Easier to take a city whose mages are gone. Bastard. He'll pay for this. All right, enough. enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us and... Not so fast. Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. <laughs> Why? I told you... I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. I'll just take his Strip memory off his now. memory. But... But I helped you. I helped... It's not so bad. I promise. Peace. Play and gave. Well, we didn't need to kill him. How do you feel? Base. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But there is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Manga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Manga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Alright.
She just disappeared. Poor dude. Got his memory wiped. Better than dying, though. If I do say so myself. Okay, so we need to talk to Priscilla. I can't believe this is all under the same quest count. Reuben's treasure. I can't believe it's still all under this quest that we're doing all this stuff. But no big deal. I think I'm going to have to take a break from recording. At least open up my window. It's getting hot in here. Finish up this episode, though. Obviously, we're not going to cut the episode at like nine minutes. But damn, we got some nice equipment now. Let me just take a second to admire it. We're level 12. Alright, we got a nice steel sword. Dealing out 100 to 122 damage and 50% critical hit damage bonus. We got a 157 to 191 silver sword that's got plus 4% Gwyn sign intensity and plus 4% Axie sign intensity. We've got a 57 armor chest. Uh, plus 4 Ard sign intensity, plus 20% resistance to bludgeon damage, plus 20% resistance to slashing damage, and plus 3% resistance to damage from monsters. We got these nice 17 armor gloves with a resistance to piercing damage, 2 resistance to bludgeoning damage, 3 resistance to slashing, and 9% critical hit damage bonus. Uh, these trousers, 27 armor, 1% uh, stamina regen in combat. Uh, 4 resistance to piercing, 4 to bludgeoning damage, slashing damage, 9, and 4 to resistance to elemental. And 21 armor boots, 1% resistance to piercing, 1% to bludgeoning, and 3% to slashing. So a really nice combo there. Should probably get a better crossbow, but we'll, we'll worry about that in the future. But I got some good equipment going here. There's really not been any use for the crossbow. Other than the fight with the griffin, there really hasn't been a use. Um, it's not very good. I guess maybe more griffins will appear later in the game um, when you're a much higher level and they're not really a boss. Uh, maybe you use them for basilisks and wyverns if you find them within the game. I'm not entirely sure if you need it for that, but if it's just for taking out those air enemies, it's kind of a pointless usable item because it really does extremely low damage, so that's an issue. And I got like an eyelash in my eye. I'll try to get it out when we're talking to Priscilla. So if there's a little pause. She downstairs. Looks like it. Oh, she's upstairs. She's upstairs. Ooh, get out of my way. So is she up? Yeah, she's up again. No, she's below. Maybe I should look at my mini-map and stop trying to guess where she is. Then... she in this room? No, that's to the outside. She has to be in this room. Yes, there she is. Geralt! Oh, I gotta be able to read. Dandelion. I know where he is. Where? Dungeons on Temple Isle. That's not a nice jest. No jest, sadly. But don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Dudu. So you must find Dudu in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Siri? Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. I gotta meet Horson Jr. He might know something. Quest completed. Tell me, you and Dandelion, how do you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first. Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Alright. Take care now. Alright, so that's not what we need to do. So we need to do the junior quest now. 
I guess. But we need... I want to do the one... Where is the one that's going to tell me to go talk to Triss? Meet Triss Marigold at her hideout. A matter of life and death. The quest. I wonder what this is all about. I gotta do the ladies of the game side quest. We're gonna go find Yennefer after we do Triss side quest here. Oh, you can um, I don't know, we'll see. We might end up alone in this quest. We might just be the ultimate ladies man. And just hook up with all the girls in this playthrough, and then I might die. I don't know. It's hard. I don't know if I want to end up with Triss, and I don't know if I want to end up with Yennefer. I'm still not sure. Maybe I'll just play the game and just be a gigolo and end up with all the women, because then I can kind of decide based on their stories through my uh, Death March playthrough which one I prefer. And this is not her house. <laughs> I am going into the wrong house. How do I get into her hideout? This it? Guess we'll knock. Yes? Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. This is her hideout with these people? Where is she? Upstairs, I would assume, yes. Upstairs again. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, we can. Yes, Geralt? Actually, so hold on. Alright, I'm going to cut the episode here. This is 17 minutes. It's a shorter episode, but I do want to get this whole thing into the next episode, this whole Triss quest, and so we'll do that in the next episode. Sorry for the little bit shorter of an episode, guys. I also need to open my window. So I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out, guys.